had enough space to where I can clear it, you know, to where people can get in and out and I'm not blocking anybody. <laughs> YouTube trucker avocado coming at you with a, another vlog we are another truck and vlog I should say we are finally leaving finally leaving put another emphasis on the finally leaving the West Memphis terminal we are headed to McDonough Georgia and then from there we will be going to uh, Atlanta, Georgia, which is only about 30 mile, 30 miles away, and then from there we Ready. will be going. Okay. Wow. I guess I should just put that down. All right. Apparently we're routing. So uh, then we will be going to St. Petersburg, Florida. Then I will be headed home. So, with that being said, I will be home on Sunday. Today is Friday the 16th. Uh, this load I have here is not due till Saturday the 17th. But I tried to sleep, you know, a little bit longer. But because I did go to sleep earlier, I wasn't able to, you know, sleep, sleep. So, I was gonna sleep until like around eight o'clock eight nine o'clock and then get going but uh it didn't work out that way so it is what it is we ate shit shower shaved uh or whatever all that good stuff and then uh we will be going to or, or i guess we're now going to mcdonough georgia it's a nice day uh, it's been kind of cool on the cooler side but i like it 64 degrees right now is what the truck is showing we are on 55 south headed to us 78 east and then from there we will be going to some other state road some other state road until we end up on 75 south so it's only a 411 mile run this one and then like a, maybe like another 300 uh 300 another 300 mile run uh to st petersburg so pretty decent check regardless uh you know i can't complain so um yeah guys we're just gonna sit here and like i always do rock out with my cock out throw some tunes on roll down the windows and cruise baby cruise baby we're cruising down the street cruising down the street in my six fold you guys finish the lyrics in the comments because i don't know the lyrics offhand so anyways guys i'll talk to you guys later all right guys so we're about 2.2 miles away we are about just under a mile from the exit that we need to take which is exit 216 75 south or 216 on 75 I should say uh, we're going on 155 north uh, Mock McDonough Georgia McDonough McDonut Don not donut but like McDonough McDonough is that how we can say that McDonough Mc McDonald not McDonald's McDonough McDonough Mc McDonough McDonough this is kind of weird to say, guys. Uh, this is our exit here. So, let's see what we're getting into. We got to make a left at the end. So, you know, that's good, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's just making a left. All right, all right making the left to the left to the left to the left to the left i've been on this exit before but i went to the right when i last time i came through here this was actually my first load coming out of uh with cfi i uh there's something right down there and i remember because i i don't know like sometimes you remember these kind of things you 
I know I went to the right and then I went to the left at the next light and that's like where I uh, picked up my first load from CF5 so that was pretty cool um, yeah it's been a long time since then since, since that time I'm gonna make this left here and then we're gonna make a right on King Mill Road King Mill, King Mill, King Mill Road. Where do they get these names for these roads, for these streets, for these avenues, for these boulevards? Like, somebody just think, oh, we're gonna name this one. We're gonna name this, hmm, King. No, you know what? Put a mill at the end. Like, you know, where do they get their names from? That's always something I've wondered. Pretty, uh, pretty interesting, some of these street names that they come up with. All right, this is uh, pretty tight, but not that tight, but pretty tight. So you gotta stay wide to not take that train pole or any of that. So. We're not going to Summit Racing Equipment. We're going to Nestle. And that is going to be right up here. So, let's see. This is the Nestle. Oh, I think I was supposed to go in there. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're open. There are a couple of trucks parked right outside of it. Oh, shush. Hush your mouth. Alright, so let's see. What does that sign say? I think I have to make a U-turn. Or not think. I know I'm going to have to turn around and go that way. Um, so... Yeah, I didn't do... I didn't... I always like you know look at the pre-plan and all that stuff is this gate open here because I can turn around in here all right yeah this gate is open so we're just gonna kind of go in here and just turn around because they are closed I didn't look at it like a hundred percent which uh, shut up which was an error. We're actually gonna close that one out. Kinda just turn around here. Can we make it? We can. We can and we did and we, we, we can, we will and I did. Yeah, so. It was that street that I passed there. I didn't do a good job of, I kind of just, I, when I did it, I was like, I kind of just like looked at it and said, oh, okay, it's a big warehouse. But I didn't look at anything else and that was a mistake I made. So, yeah, guys, don't ever make that mistake. It's definitely, and definitely close, uh, you know, it doesn't prepare you much, so. Alright, so we're going to come here, straight down, and the entrance is here. Yeah, so the entrance is here. So we're kind of going to just, uh, it wasn't this one. Luckily, there is nobody behind me. Oh, well, there is now. <clears throat> quite a ways, quite a bit of ways away. So I want to say it was this one. No, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, this is where the trucks are. So we're going to make this left. There's nobody coming. We're going to make this left and uh, see what we can get into in here. Well, 
looks like they are closed because it doesn't look like anything's open over here so I guess I'm just gonna that's uh yeah they're closed so I'm just gonna I don't know should I go in there and park in there is there a truck in there there is no truck in there oh there is a couple of trucks in there so I'm actually gonna go into here and yeah there's some trucks lined up so I'm gonna go to the yeah Monday through Friday 6 a.m. by appointment only so yeah we're gonna come in here and just park at the end of at the end of the road um, and not park out on the street so yeah Nestle is kind of I guess I guess you can say they're kind of good at having you know parking extra parking spots for drivers um, our appointment is at 8 a.m. so I'm just gonna creep over in the morning um, from here payphone to the left there's no payphone there man why'd you lie to me all right well there's the check-in booth so huh But there's nobody in there, so I'm just gonna uh, turn around here and park behind that truck. And I think this would be the place that I need to get into. I don't know if there's anybody in there, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, turn around here and see if I have space to park behind this truck here which there's a fire hydrant and I don't really want to block the fire hydrant and I'm, I'm kind of I can't really go anywhere else well I all right so after looking at the space Alright, I'm gonna sit here for a little bit and kind of just look around, see what I can find. Alright guys, so I'll tell you what I did. I came back out to the front uh, because, uh, yeah. So I came back out to the front and right to the side of it, like, you guys remember seeing that truck coming in. Uh, there's a truck behind me and I kind of parked. I had, I had enough space to where I can clear it, you know, to where people can get in and out and I'm not blocking anybody or anything. So I just kind of parked here uh, facing that direction. So like that, when I get in, all I have to do is then turn to the left and go left so I can go wide and then go to the right. So yeah, that's what I did. Uh, now I'm just gonna go into the sleeper and set my alarm for like 7 a.m. and yeah and kind of in the morning I'll creep in there and then creep back out after I'm done and kind of wait it out here so I can get my next load so yeah guys on that note peace I'm going to sleep all right guys so we are here creeping along like I said I was gonna do this is the creep uh, once you guys get your CDL, if you're working on getting your CDL, if this is what you want to do, this is what you have to do when you're on your 10 hour break and you literally can't, uh, you know, you see, I got 17 minutes of available drive time left, but I don't want to restart. I'm not going to restart my 10 hour break. So. We are going to door number 13. But uh, creeping along, let's turn this on. It's kind of chilly out here. 48 degrees right now. So 
so I actually, since I didn't sleep at a truck stop yesterday, I didn't idle my truck because there were no trucks idling near me. I just opened up the windows, threw on the, uh, the bunk heater on, and called it a day. Yep, this is the life of a truck driver. When you just creep, creep, creeping down the road, creeping, creeping down the road. Alright, so we're now in the back of the uh, place. So we're just gonna turn around here. space there. Alright, cool. So now from here, we're just kind of gonna set ourselves up for door number 13. And I could have blindsided in, but I don't feel like it. So door number 13 is the one next to this Tiger Logistics. Alright. It's good to see people helping other people back up. to get it some more angle when it's while it's going back all right we didn't get it on the first go but we're damn near close so we're gonna come up here and put it to the oh we gotta be on the lines okay all right one of those places. Alright, then kind of just out of a back. Man, see, that's why 
that's the reason I don't like have, not having a manual because you can't just like slowly creep back. You either you gotta go back and like smack the damn thing. So I've gone back. I put the trailer brakes on and then pop my brakes. And we're gonna go check how we did and then lay down.